So it's very rare in the first two hours, as we say, that you're gonna fuck a girl. Sometimes it happens, sometimes you have like the bathroom pulls, like quick bathroom pulls when the girl's ready, but most of the time, people are just not ready at that time of the night. And today we're going to cover the topic of taking a girl home in the first two hours of the night, okay? Now we have other coaches out there, RSD Julian, Valentino Cohen, Alex RSD, who later became Alex Social and the Four Week Natural, that say the first half of the night doesn't count, or you can't pull a girl in the first half of the night, so don't bother trying. I completely disagree with this. I pull in the first half of the night, and for those who don't know what pull means, it means take a girl home. I pull a girl in the first half of the night as much, if not more, than in the second half of the night. Okay? So real quick, I'm going to reference those clips that I was just speaking about with Julian and Alex and Valentino. Okay? So let's roll those clips. So it's very rare in the first two hours, as we say, that you're going to fuck a girl. Sometimes it happens, sometimes you have like the bathroom pulls, like quick bathroom pulls when the girl's ready, but most of the time, people are just not ready at that time of the night. Alright, let's find the students, let's make this happen. Again, first half doesn't matter. Yeah. All that matters is the very end. Do you leave with the girl or not? And that can happen five minutes before, you don't know. Just have fun. But if you try to like take the girl home to the hotel too early, then it's only going to create defensiveness and evasiveness and all, like a lot of predictability. So I'm going to wait as long as I possibly can. Right? The longer that you can stay with a chick in a bar, building a tension where she's nearby you, knows that you can escalate, knows that you can approach other chicks with her, that you're not trying to pull. Okay, so you guys see. <laughs> They're all saying this, right? And there's many other coaches, like I just grabbed a few. This is like a big myth in the community, okay? And it's costing you guys a lot of results, okay? Because I have lots of pulls on camera, and, I, and even when I don't have it on camera, I've done this many, many, many times, okay? So right now I'm going to teach you how to actually do this, and I'm going to show you a full length in field video taking what I would rate a nine, you probably will too when you see your body. Um, taking a nine home, pulling a nine in the first half of the night, okay? I'm gonna show you the entire, usually I keep my full interactions for my product, but I'm gonna show you the entire interaction start to finish of meeting the girl all the way up to taking her home, okay? And I'm gonna break it down with picture in picture analysis, telling you what's going on every step of the way, okay? It's only a 10 minute interaction. Surprise, surprise, you can pull quickly even in the first half of the night. You don't even need to have a long interaction. Now these other coaches say girls don't want to leave in the first half of the night because they want to experience the whole movie, that's what Julian says. Or RST Alex thinks that you can only take girls home at the very end of the night right when the bar is about to close. This is all false. I don't pay attention um, to what time of the night it is when I'm trying to pull the girl. I only pay attention to compliance and non-compliance. Okay, now I'll make a whole separate video just really getting into the details of pulling. If you haven't watched my night game video, of how to run a night game interaction, watch that. And that goes into all the details about how to structure the, the night, how to structure your sets, how you should be pulling, when you should be switching to getting a phone number closed, if the logistics are poor. If you don't know what I'm talking about, watch the night game video, okay? So, I'm gonna get into that infield breakdown, the whole pull, the whole start to finish pull, which is like a huge fucking gift. I kinda wanted to like make this video be like a nuke. But my content is gonna continue to be fire, I've gotten tons of good feedback on it already. Uh, everyone's like, this is so refreshing, this is life changing, all this shit. So I'm giving you down and dirty, here's how you pull, here's how you close the house, here's how you set dates to the house. So what do you do to pull in the first half of the night? So the way I do it, and I only tell this usually on boot camps or my product, but I'm going to give you guys the exact script that I say now, or that I say in the bars and clubs, okay? So I say to the girl, um, I live close by. All these different statements are lowering compliance thresholds. You're trying to get her to comply with this request to go to your house, so you make it very easy for her to do so. Okay, so the components are, I live close by, I only live a few blocks away, I only live five minutes away. Another big component is you have to come back. You have to come back, okay? Let's just go for 30 minutes. Okay, that's the other big component. You're not gonna go for very long. We're just gonna go for 30 minutes, Rip a couple shots, 
Why? Because drinks here are expensive. That's giving her like a motivation. Okay, so I say, this is, how, this is like the exact script. Drinks here are expensive. I live really close by, like five minutes away. Let's go rip a couple shots, and then we'll come like right back. We'll only be gone like 30 minutes. So that's, that's like the script I say. Okay, you're not going far. You're not going for long. You have to come back. It's to do shots because drinks are expensive. A very high amount of the time, you're gonna get one main objection from her, which is, oh, I would, but I can't leave my friends. So like at my boot camps, I'm like, after you say this script, you like kind of pause and then you're like, okay, say it. And she's like, well, I can't leave my friends. But you know that's coming, okay? So don't let that throw you off your game. It's just a standard bullshit response. Just cause she's like, I don't, you know, I wanna make sure I'm gonna be coming back. Like I, I wanna make sure I'm gonna be comfortable and stuff. So I'll be like, it's cool. I have to come back too. My friend, and this is, this is actually how I say it. I teach this on boot camp and my products. Like my friends have a table here and one of them is visiting from out of town so I have to come back. And that doesn't even make any logical sense because if you know nightclubs, if you have a table, that's free drinks, okay? But I say, I have to come back. My friends have a table one day from out of town and, and, and it works like every time. And the girl's never like, oh, let's go have the free drinks at the table or why is your friend that's visiting from out of town not coming? <laughs> good, good questions, that doesn't come up. So you say that, and then you just keep repeating those other things. So you're like, no, don't worry, we're, we're not gonna be gone for very long, we'll be gone like 30 minutes, like 20 minutes, whatever. It's really close. What kind of liquor do you like? Now you're, now you're drawing into the frame. Oh, uh, tequila? Cool, I have tequila. And I talk about in other videos, you should keep like a kind of every liquor at your house because they have specific tastes. So you have tequila, you have vodka, you have uh, whiskey, rum, and gin. Those are like the main five. Um, so you're like, cool, I have tequila. Let's go back and have like two shots. Like I want to like get a nice buzz here, but the drinks are fucking expensive. And you can even say that when it's like dollar drinks. It like doesn't, they don't register with these logical points. Like it's, it's insane. Like it literally can be like dollar drinks, like 50 cent drinks. You're like, yeah, drinks here are expensive. Let's just go. And this, we even had uh, as just like for shits and giggles, like during the daytime in a boot camp, we like use this on a girl on the street and pulled her during the daytime. And it was totally out of context. It just, it's just like a convincing like set of lines. Like we, we literally wrote, we had a student do it actually. We're like, yo, say the fucking drinks are expensive shit. The girl's like on a, like texting on like, like a street corner or whatever, like waiting to cross the street. And the student rolls up and he, or no, oh no, my business partner did this. My well, business partner, just to like fuck around. And then we just gave it to the student. He's like, yo, drinks here are expensive. Um, we live really close by. Like we're gonna go rip a couple of shots. Like you should totally come with us. And she's like, oh, well, I'm waiting for an Uber. And we're like, oh, we'll just call you from the house. Like, we don't want to like pay all this money for drinks. So let's just go have the drinks at the house. And she's like, well, I have to be at the airport in like two hours or whatever. And we're like, it's cool. We'll Uber you from the house. All right, let's go. And you start leading. And she's like, okay. And then we're like, hey, meet our friend. And pulls back with the student. Um, so yeah, we kind of did the work for him. But the point is, you're kind of like making it really easy for her to go along with it. You're like, we're not going to go for very long. It's cool. We have to come back. Now, say that she's like really pressing, like, um, you know, I can't go, I, I, my friends, my friends, I can't go, I have to stay with my friends, you know, she's really pressing that, even after you say that, like, I have to come back too. What I'll do, again, I've talked about this in other videos, pinky promise. I'll be like, listen, I have to come back, like, look at me, I'm like, look at me, I have to come back. I'm like, pinky promised me that we're coming back, so what am I doing now? I flip the objection on her, it's like, kind of like a sales technique, I flip the objection back on her, and pinky promises, for those of you that don't know, it's like a thing where it means like promise, like this has to, like we have to take this like very seriously, okay? So I'm like, listen, we have to come back. I'm like, no, look at me, like we have to come back. And she's like, okay. I'm like, pinky promised me we're coming back. And she does. I'm like, kiss her, it doesn't count. I'm like, so we're gonna come back, right? And she's like, yeah. I'm like, all right, let's go. And you just start leading, all right? And it's not gonna work 100% of the time, but this is how I do it. This is how we do it. <laughs> So like, seriously, pulling the first half of the night isn't that big of a deal. And it's almost like, I've, I think I'd even do it more than the second half of the night because if they're coming back, like when, when, they're, when you're trying to pull in the second half of the night, like she's committing to like leaving the whatever kind of event, she's like missing out on hanging out with their friends and the DJ and everything else. And she's like, okay, I'm going, I'm committing to this guy for the rest of the night. It's almost like a little bit more compliance than to say, let's go rip some shots and come right back, okay? And lots of times, when you go to rip the shots, like you're gonna end up like making out in the car, you're gonna hooking up at your house, and like you might not even go back out. Okay? So that's how you do it. When I walked in this bar, I'm just gonna be straight up. I saw your nipples hard in that shirt. 
And I was like, I'm in love, that's it. You okay? Shit a nice ass too. I think he's got a good shot. <laughs> Girls getting out of the cab and then we get in. You're fully Puerto Rican. I fucking knew it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I'm just bantering here, <clears throat> bantering here to keep the vibe. I saw that girl. I was my like, friend is my friend is looking at me. Let's go get them. Let me take a picture of you being all Puerto Rican. Ready? <laughs> like, like, turn towards me. I want to show my face. Alright, your tits are kind of showing. That's like the best shirt I've ever seen in my life. You look like, I like like little, oh that's nice too. Which way do you live on? Huh? Which way do you live on? <laughs> hey wait, let's wait for sure. Can I kiss? Can I see this feel? I feel so fucking good. Right here, right here. But wait! There's more! So it's very rare in the first two hours, as we say, that you're gonna fuck a girl. Like take the girl home to the hotel too early. First half doesn't matter. Yeah. First half doesn't matter. Surprise, motherfucker. Two. Two. Okay. Jake's. So Alright, put the water on, I'm gonna take a picture. Okay. You uh you mean a cold cold water or hot water? What are you talking about? What kind, you of, get water what kind of question is that? <laughs> he goes cold water or hot water? <laughs> take a video. No, I'm not taking a video, I'm gonna take okay, a picture. Take a picture, ready? <laughs> slowly, slowly. Slowly bro. Slowly bro. Peter, you're missing this little wet t shirt contest. We need a super soaker or something. Okay. Nice. Got a nip exposed. Damn, I'm like halfway up now. See, okay, it's like automatic boner. Oh contrast, contrast that. Wait, make it like tight. Like pull it. Like show your midsection. Like make this tight and show your midsection. Yeah, bro, that's like a fucking. That looks like a. Yeah. I could eat this look like a hair. That was easy. So do it for the income, but we do it for the outcome. Some of us are active, while others just let their mouth run. No doubt, son, this is not just about fun. We will not be outdone by these cowards who shout scum.